all three of these discs are from Loft. Not an American company, so it might not be pronounced like Loft. It's not Luft that I know of. Meanwhile. Hi, I'm Casper from Luft Discs. But that's beside the point. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Connor here from McKeg Disc Golf, and I have got another manufacturer review for you. I'm not just doing a disc review, I'm doing three discs today. So, we're gonna get a quick look at each one of them. The three discs that I've got to try out today are the three discs that Loft currently has on the market. They have a distance driver, a mid-range, and a putter. Makes sense, right? So, first up is the Boreum. The Boreum is a really, really interesting disc because of the rounded underside of the rim here. So, on the underside here, on the interior edge, it's completely rounded over. It feels really different from your average disc. That sharp edge has never bothered me before in any other discs, but what Loft argues is that because it's rounded, it creates less drag on the interior of the disc, and therefore it can fly faster. So because of that, this is a 14, six, minus one, three. So I've thrown this once before, but these other two are totally fresh. Next up is the Silicon, or Silicon. This is their overstable mid-range. It is a 5403. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit like the yarn from Castoplast. It feels very similar in the hand to the way the yarn feels. And so I'm betting that this is gonna be a nice dependable overstable mid that feels pretty comfortable in the hand. And these are both in the alpha solid plastic and they feel great. It feels a little bit like Castoplast K1, but with a slightly more flexibility to it. Last but not least is the Hydrogen. This putter was the first thing that Loft developed with their Kickstarter program, and it is a straight putter. This feels very much like a catch disc. It's like a mini version of a Ultra Star that's built for disc golf. And this is the Glow Plastic. I'll drop a clip up here of what it looks like when it glows. Man, it is bright. That's the first thing I did when I got this disc, was I put it under my light overnight, and then in the morning, came into the garage to see what it looked like. It was like a flashlight in there. It was really impressive. This is gonna be a very, very straight putter. Straight finish is what they advertise. So, we're at hole 11 at Chai Lai right now, Widener Park or Baker Farm for locals. I'm gonna throw these in this open fairway backhand to start, and then we'll check out some more throws after that. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the hydrogen because it's a putter and I'm not warmed up yet. Okay, I released that with a little bit of hyzer and it held it. So on the next one, I'm gonna have to pump that up a little bit and really make sure I get it flat. Let's check out the silicon. That was overstable like I expected, and it even got a little skip. So I can tell that with enough spin left on the disc, it's really gonna jump, it's really trying to get left. Now for the Boreum. <laughs> wow. That came out of my hand moving really quick, but it did not turn. I do have a little bit of a tailwind right here. To be honest, what that felt like was like a big skip drive in Disc Golf Valley. It's got that glide that's moving it up as it goes forward somehow. I'm gonna throw each one of these back in one more time, and this time I'm gonna try and do it for placement. There's a sweet spot up here on the corner that leads down to the basket down there, and I think it'll open up a good forehand for the next shot. So I'm gonna start with the hydrogen again. With the Borium, I'm definitely gonna go past the sweet spot. I cannot throw this 14 speed the same way I'm throwing these two and expect it to do the same thing obviously so what I'll do is try to put these two in the sweet spot and then with the Boreum blow right past it and try to find a new sweet spot farther up the fairway like I said there's a bit of a tailwind but I'm pretty surprised with how little glide that's getting we'll have to see what it does in a headwind I'm gonna put this on a little Anheuser because it fought out really hard on the last throw That fought out really nicely. I like that. I wish I'd given it a little more height so I could see it finish, but overall, that's what I want. 
It does fly a little bit like the yarn. Now, it's really go time. I was able to hit that second sweet spot like I wanted to, but it still didn't carry right as far as I thought. We won't know yet if that's because of the wind or because of the disc. Let's chuck some forehands and see if we can put any of them close to the basket. So as you saw, I threw this about as hard as I'm comfortable throwing a putter on the way back. It's so deep that it really feels uncomfortable for me with my two finger forehand grip. I don't think this is a disc I'm really ever going to forehand. So instead of showing you the forehand like I'm gonna do with the silicon and with the borium, I'm gonna throw this this way back into the headwind and see if I can get more glide or more turn, see how it behaves. Let's try it out. It's still holding its hyzer pretty well. I think that's probably because of the glow plastic. The original hydrogen was in the alpha solid plastic, like the borium and the silicon that I have are. This is the glow. So, glow is typically more overstable. Overall, I'm not mad at that. I like being able to rely on a little bit of Anheuser with the putter, so I'm not sure that's gonna make the bag, but I think it's a great throw. This basket behind me is at an in-between distance for these two discs. It's definitely a bit far for a five speed and definitely too close for a 14 speed, but I wanna try and figure them out a little bit. I'm gonna use those two trees down there as a landing zone for my mid-range and a gap for the distance driver. So I'm gonna give these both the two finger forehand treatment and we'll see if they can handle the bit of off axis torque that I typically get on my forehand. felt pretty good. With the silicon, I think I faded out a little bit. Not great form, but it carried. Didn't get too much wobble on it. It did pretty much what I would expect. Because it was up a little higher, it bailed out to the right at the end, but the borium is what surprised me. That came out just as clean as my regular discs do on forehand, and it carried really straight. So it's a little bit of a gimmick for me right now. The rounded underside isn't showing me that it makes it a lot less drag and that I can really clear more distance, but it doesn't feel as weird and bad as I thought it would. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these loft discs. The hydrogen is less glidey than I expected it to be, but in this glow plastic, it's definitely very reliable. I can put it on some Anheuser and let it get to flat and even finish if it's got enough height. The silicon is a classic overstable mid-range. It feels good in the hand, all these plastics feel really great, and you can definitely depend on a silicon. The Borium is a bit of a gimmick. It's not that different in flight, in my opinion, from other really thin profile distance drivers, and the feeling in the hand is really strange. So if you feel like the drag on the underside of your disc is really what's holding you back, get yourself a Borium. If you don't feel like that, stick with what you got.